Hey everyone, Corey from AquariumCoop.com, and today I'm bringing you my top five tetras. Number five is the black neon tetra. Almost bulletproof. You can hit them with a hammer. They're so hardy and they're cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And they look great against the green background. I love them for beginners. I love them for seasoned Aquarius. One of my absolute favorites. If you haven't played with any of the uh, black neons, you really got to get around to it. Number four, the Pristilla Tetra. It's got a cool little dorsal fin with that, you know, that the two dots, basically the black and the yellow. They get about two and a half inches, real robust. That's a great thing. They can take a little bit of beating from things and they can kind of mix that semi-aggressive and peaceful tank nature. And they tend to live for people a very long time and great for newbies. Maybe you want some a little more delicate. Well, we've got the Red Arc Pencil Fish. That is kind of in that Tetra family for sure. Uh, a little more delicate, only get about two inches, typically only wild caught. A little bit aggressive. All the males have all the color and the females, not so much. But absolutely love them. Uh, really want to keep a tank full of hundreds of them, but they're kind of expensive and they're pretty much only wild caught. You knew it was coming, Cardinal Tetras. They're a, they're a staple in the hobby. They look good in big groups. They look great in a planet tank. Grow them big and uh, keep them warm and feed them well and you'll have a showstopper. But I really like them in big, big, big groups. Here there's not that big of a group. I would keep them in much bigger of a group. But gotta give them, you know, gotta give them credit, number two. All right, here's the number one. You probably, I, I don't know if you know this fish. Maybe you do, maybe you've seen it do this, but let's take a look. We've got the silver tip tetra. Now, why do I love these? The males get nice and orange, super duper orange. The females, not so much. And when you have them in a big group, they typically will frenzy like this, where they'll start following your hand and you can get them to move all around. And that's the coolest part. Plus they've got these little like tips on their fins and they can really get jazzed up and going. And who doesn't love that? So. In big groups, super duper cool. I plan to do a tank with these very soon. They are my number one most un underrated Tetra. Super hardy, they're pretty cheap, but you need groups of like 50 of them to really get that cool behavior. These guys are a little bit young to be doing it, but they're super active and flittery and they will look cool. 